Welcome to the Innovative Classroom Podcast, where we explore the cutting edge of education through the lens of self-determination theory. I'm Brad Flickinger, a middle school technology teacher passionate about empowering students to take control of their learning journey. In each episode, we'll dive into practical strategies, inspiring stories, and expert insights to help you transform your classroom into a hub of creativity, autonomy, and student success. Let's innovate together. This episode is entitled Challenge-Based Education, the Key to Student Engagement. In a world overflowing with screens, our youth are more connected and stimulated than ever before. Video games lure them into intricate worlds, demanding strategies and skill sets to overcome challenges. Social media platforms buzz with trending challenges every other week. The allure of these platforms challenges. They engage, excite, and offer a sense of achievement. This episode delves into how we can harness the power of challenges in the classroom, particularly in technology education. In the psychology of a challenge, to understand why challenges work, it's essential to peek into the human psyche. Challenges present an obstacle, a mountain to climb. Overcoming this obstacle not only provides a sense of accomplishment, but also a testament to one's capabilities. It's akin to the narrative of a hero embarking on a quest, facing adversities, and emerging victorious. Each student, when presented with a challenge, starts their own hero's journey. Tapping into the tech world, consider video games. They present levels, each increasing in complexity. Every level cleared is a notch up, a badge of honor, a testament to the gamer's increasing prowess. This model can be mirrored in our classrooms. Technology projects can be designed as multi-level challenges, each requiring a unique set of skills. The quest to master the skills, complete the project, and bask in the glory of achievement. For instance, imagine students being tasked with creating an original song which will be played over the school's PA system. Here, the challenge is not merely about producing a song. It's about learning the intricacies of digital audio workstations, understanding sound editing, mastering the art of blending instruments, and so on. As students learn and incorporate each skill, they move closer to the ultimate reward, their song echoing through the school corridors. Challenge-based learning versus traditional teaching. Traditional teachings has its merits, but it often serves information on a platter. Students become passive recipients. Challenge-based education flips this dynamic. Instead of being passive consumers of knowledge, students become active seekers. They aren't just told how a tech tool works. They dive in, tinker, experiment, fail, retry, and ultimately succeed. Moreover, challenge-based education, particularly in technology, is innately interdisciplinary. Creating that lunchtime song, for instance, doesn't just teach tech skills. It also taps into creativity, arts, understanding frequencies, physics, perhaps even lyrics writing, language arts. The silos break down and learning becomes an interconnected web. Benefits of challenge-based education. One, deep engagement. Challenges hook students in and the goal is tangible and the journey is theirs to undertake. Two, skill mastery. With every challenge overcome, students master a skill, embedding it deeply into their repertoire. You know, three, boosted confidence. Completing a challenge is a confidence booster. It's a tangible testament to what students can achieve when they put their minds to it. Four, fostering resilience. Challenges aren't always easy. There will be failures, but with each retry, students build resilience, learning that setbacks are just stepping stones. In conclusion, today's students are primed for challenge-based learning. They are already seeking and overcoming challenges in their digital worlds. It's time education systems leverage this innate drive. By anchoring technology education in challenges, we aren't just teaching them how to use tools. We are embarking them on quests, transforming them into heroes of their learning journeys. Thank you for tuning in to the Innovative Classroom Podcast. I'm Brad Flickinger, and I hope we can innovate and improve your teaching practice together. If you enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe, leave a review, and share it with fellow educators. Remember, together, 
we can create classrooms where students thrive. Until next time, keep innovating.